There's our duck drops there. So, best case scenario, everything plugs back up and the new unit comes on and communicates. Worst case scenario, I gotta figure out how to make it communicate. I used to like the old Tracer Summit. He disconnected it yesterday, so we're 64 degrees. Yeah, it's pretty cool everywhere. So this thing ought to come in. As soon as you power it up, it's probably gonna go into a morning warm-up. The biggest thing I wanna do now is get power to it and make uh, make sure our crankcase heater's on for as long as possible. Everybody's going to recommend 24 hours, but it's not going to happen here unless maybe we come back. I don't know when they come back to school. It's holiday weekend, so maybe come back tomorrow or something, but we're going to verify rotation and everything. And then try to get this guy communicating. The only thing I saw up there that they didn't label when they cut the hook tubing. So I've got space pressure and I should have duct pressure. Uh, it's like it was set at two inches. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. Hopefully he took a picture. Everything else they labeled pretty well. My comm link comes in here. So that purple wire is shielded communication link. So it goes down to all the VAV boxes and back to the computer. Um, this is my comm board here. So I may cut and save some of my plugs because I don't know what plugs are gonna be on the new one, but this building hasn't been changed over to the newer controls. So it's all the old controls. So what I might have to do is take the new board communication board out of the new unit set it aside for when they update the controls we're gonna have to use the old communication board to allow it to communicate and do what it's supposed to and then hopefully my plugs are the same we can plug it back in and hopefully everything comes up and works if not we're gonna have to play with it and see what the hell because it's gotta it's gonna have to talk to everything else so it knows what it's doing getting ready to rig the other one up I, I think that board's the only thing I'm gonna need I'm just not sure about the connections until I get this other guy in place like I said they haven't updated the controls on this specific building everything else has been updated so I think trains gonna come back at some point and redo the controls but until then we'll, we gotta make it communicate with the old system. Nice looking unit. I think it's a 55 ton, 50 ton, something like that. Just a baby. She's just a baby. dilemma now they're using a UC 400 program for the BCI communication so I don't know how this is gonna work that was my original board and it's not gonna be the same 
I used to use an LCI and a BCI, which is a circuit board, which it looks like they've integrated into just a UC400 program for that. So I have no idea how this thing's going to communicate just yet. Still digging in. RTFM. Alright, so the sun's beating down on me here. It'll be kind of hard to see. We pulled the UC400 is what they're using for communication, so it's not a BCI board anymore. I think I've got everything correct. We've got, that's wrong, I, I labeled it wrong. This is my comm coming in. Wire nuts are a no-no, but we did that for now to make this work. I've got my positive and negative here, and uh, 24 volts here. I'm gonna verify my three-phase voltage. Make sure our rotation's correct. Two, three. So, rotation is correct. Got my compressors turned off at the overloads. I'll turn it on, verify, or at least get the crankcase heaters running for a little while before we go to lunch. Um, so, I'm going to turn the power on. I got a guy downstairs helping me that's kind of watching to see if we communicate and uh, make sure our static pressure reads because our tubing came to here and stopped. So we got a tube run from there over to the static track, which controls, it's inside this panel here, which controls the static pressure. And then we got our rainbird as the outdoor reference. So let's kick it on and see what happens. We'll have to get gas pressures, refrigerant pressures eventually. Uh, it's probably gonna come on in morning warm up if everything communicates. Not yet communicating. Got it in test mode. Uh, checking my charge with uh, my phone, so I don't have it. But we're running 13 to 14 degrees super heat. Watch out for this, because no gas in the cap already from the factory. Imagine that. So all of this looks good. I got good oil coming back. It's, I mean, it's still cool out here to be running all my stages, but. Um, I'm happy with my superheat, my pressure readings. I'm gonna go cycle it off. We're working on the, so the board we put in, the old board we took off, uh, the 24 volts kept tripping the low voltage fuse. So uh, we're working on trying to get a board that will work with the old tracer that we got. So we just threw the original back in for right now. We got it running in, uh, like I said, test mode. We'll have to do uh, standalone until we can get a, the right board, but everything's working. Uh, tested the heat. I need to test the exhaust fan. We're going to note all this. I've marked my pressures for exactly what the ratings were, so I'm happy with all that. We'll go from there. set everything up top. I thought we were going to have problems. I'm actually communicating now. Uh, everything looks good. We're in cooling mode. Um, I got my address set finally. Space temperature is still pretty cool. But we're reading everything. We do have some diagnostics, but um, we got static pressure, fan status, Everything looks good here. So let me go back up to the roof and I'll show you what shenanigans we had to come up with. So just to try to make this a little more clear, I got my controller here. This is the control we pulled out. We got 24 volts. So I had two wires here feeding 24 volts. That was fed on these two wires here from this transformer here in the middle. And you can see it's got a green ground wire. For whatever reason, I still can't really explain it. We found a manual somewhere that showed we have to power the old board from this transformer or the other transformer that's not grounded for whatever reason. Still not 100% sure why, but it worked. So I tapped onto that transformer We've got 24 volts going into our board here. The old board is COM3 or COM4, I believe. And then we had the IMC is my communication, positive and negative. 
You gotta get the positive and negative correct. That's the communication through all the other boards up here in the unit. And we wired that to here. We only had two wires. So we just corrected positive to the positive wire, negative to the negative wire. And they are marked in behind that plug there. And then this here, positive and negative, goes to my comlink purple wire that runs down to the space to the tracer and through all the VAVs. So once we figured it out, it was pretty simple. And all I had to do was set an address in the control. Everything came on and ran. So here, let's go through our configuration. Look at what we got in here. Rooftop unit, gas heat, 55 ton, space gas heat. Exhaust fan with static track, it's all correct. Economizer. Not sure, economizer, FDD installed. Discharge temp control, VAV. That's correct, ambient control standard. Ventilation control, not installed. Comparative entity for economizer. Energy recovery, not installed. Variable speed compressor, not installed. That is one alarm that we saw. We're getting a VSM alarm. It's not stopping the operation of the unit, but we're not sure exactly why we're getting the VSM alarm. Maybe it's because that 400 sees something that that controller can't see or something or another would be my only thought. Um, Condenser type air cool. No reheat, no high gas bypass. The remote human interface I'm looking at now, BAS module. Not installed, not installed. So, ventilation override. Uh, most of all this, like I said, comes set. Just kind of taking you through. You don't want to change too much of this. Most of this is all set, and you don't need to mess with it. Uh, set points will be the only thing that you really want to play with. Uh, and you can adjust for your specific situation. But for the most part, turn these things on, get them communicating. They operate pretty well on the factory set points. So let's go through, let's go into setup. Just go through some of our options here. We're on the BAS network. That's my address I set. Uh, let's go to general functions. Remote panels not present. Most of these, you don't have to change much of this. Daytime warm ups enabled, full capacity. Mechanical cooling unoccupied and heating's enabled. That's fine. Humidification, we don't have that. Uh, demand limit, no, we don't want to limit any heating or cooling functions. Uh, lead lags enabled. Uh, that turns the compressors off if it gets down to 35 degrees. All this is factory set. Um, same there, cool frost, 30 degrees. There's not a whole lot to really change. My VAV functions, cooling reset type, we're resetting on outdoor air. Starting at 55 degrees. Um, we may actually adjust that and go to 50. then it's gonna go five degrees so amount of reset applied so we're at 55 degrees so as it hits 50 degrees it'll start resetting you might even want to go lower with that and the end temp 35 will be at a full reset so we'll be at 60 degrees they need a lot of cooling in this space so let's go 45 and 35 so that sets my reset up. So at 45 degrees, we'll start resetting that supply temp from 55 and start working our way towards 60. We can do the reset amount up a little more if we need to, but for this system, they need a lot of cooling, so we're gonna leave it at five degrees. Uh, see anything else? It's economizer control. Uh, comparative density, blah, blah, blah. Economizer is enabled. 
not much in that one. Had pressure control. We didn't mess with any of this. 80 to 120. Yeah, so most of this is set from the uh, factory. So you don't have to go through here and do too much, but I'm gonna scroll through the rest of this stuff and just make sure everything looks normal. Um, and we can pl kind of play with our some of our settings if we need to, but you don't wanna go in there changing too much. It does come factory set uh, for most of the operation that's already here. So you don't have to change a whole lot. Let me know what y'all think, guys. Leave a trade button, you found it. See y'all next time.